Dr. Mindy here, and I am back with more science, you guys. There is so much out there right now in the world of science around autophagy and our immune system. And I ended up down a rabbit hole of information that I just can't shut up about. So on this video, I am gonna dive into autophagy and your respiratory immune system. So there is something that's emerging called autophagy dysfunction and it's affecting how your respiratory system will respond to its viral load. So on this video, I'm going to unpack this science, bring you some of the highlights of this new research, and then we're gonna talk about 10 things you can do to start to stimulate autophagy so your immune system can be more effective. Okay, and as always, if you're new to my channel, welcome. So excited to have you here. And you guys, if you love this information, share it out into the world. We are all working together as a resetter community to build our immune system so we can get out of this current situation we are in. It's our personal action around our health that's gonna make a difference. Get ready, we're gonna dive into this. So let's start with this concept, autophagy. Why is it so important? And I want you to think of it as it does two things. One, autophagy is this fancy term for clearing out bacteria, viruses, and fungus. So you have, this happens in your lungs, that's what this current study is showing. This also happens in every cell of your body. So there is a pathogen, is the, the word we use, clearance that will happen where we are pushing out these bacteria that are harmful, viruses, fungus that are harmful to the cells. So it is a naturally occurring process in your body that we want to have happen. In the article that I am uh, originally talking about, the title of it, I'm gonna to try to use some code here, is that autophagy augmentation could alleviate the immune response dysfunction and resolve respiratory and, I can't say the name, the virus we're all going after, exacerbation. I'll link this in the bottom, but I'm trying not to trigger censorship. So basically that is a fancy title for saying that you are not clearing, when you have dysfunction of autophagy, you are not clearing the bacteria, viruses, and fungus from the cell as efficiently. This is not going to serve you in the midst of a pandemic. Okay, so that's the first thing. The second thing I want you to know about autophagy and why it's so important for us to have our eyes on it right now is it's your, your cell's way of repairing dysfunctional uh, mitochondria, proteins, any part of the working cell that is dysfunctional. Autophagy is the way that you can go in and repair that dysfunction so that cell is more receptive to not only making energy for you, but improving your both your innate and your adaptive immune system. Now, the last thing before I go into why this autophagy system gets dysfunctional and what you can do to keep it functional, one more thing that I wanna bring to your attention, and that's that specifically in the respiratory system, that's what this current research is showing, we are seeing that autophagy determines the length of the scylla response in the lungs. So what does that mean? If we go back to remembering that we need to keep our mucosal lining of our gut healthy so that we don't get pathogens like candida and parasites that grow, the same thing happens in your lungs. We need to keep the scylla, these little hair-like projections in the mucosal lining of the lungs working really well so they can detect pathogens when they get into the lungs, like viruses. And autophagy determines, will accentuate and, and balance out the length of those scylla so that they're better at responding to foreign invaders. Seems like something very helpful that we're gonna want to stimulate right now in 2020 in the middle of a pandemic, okay? And again, 
These are not my words. These are the words of the study. I will link the study in here. Okay, so that's the, that's the first thing I want you to understand about autophagy. We need to be stimulating it for a proper immune response. What happens if autophagy becomes dysfunctional? And I'm gonna actually read this specifically from the study itself. When autophagy becomes dysfunctional, it results in accumulation of bad proteins inside the cells. It can increase debris, so that's like waste inside the cell, and it can start lung disease. That's from the article. Dysregulation of autophagy in the cells of the lungs can lead to an exaggerated inflammatory response. That's what we are talking about when we say cytokine storm. So if you already have this exaggerated uh, inflammatory response you, and the virus comes in, you're gonna have a hyperactive cytokine storm. This is why so many people are having really tough symptoms with this particular virus that we're trying to go after. Let's talk about what leads to dysfunction inside the cells that will, inhi will inhibit a proper immune response, specifically in the lungs. So the first thing I want to talk about is you got to know that anything that creates an oxidative stress response in the body is going to inhibit autophagy. So what does that mean? That means your processed foods, your processed oils, uh, inflammatory oils like safflow safflower, sunflower, corn oil, cottonseed oil. These are all oils that we have been talking about over and over and over again in our Resetter community and here on my page. So please, let's start looking at our diet it needs to be numero uno right now. We need to get off the inflammatory foods because it's making autophagy dysfunctional, okay? Other things that we know, cigarette smoke, vaping, those are also lots of clinical studies showing that that is impairing autophagy in the lungs. Air pollution. Why, when you look at this, how this virus got out into the world, it got out and started to affect areas that had the highest air pollution. I've done videos on that. Go watch the look at the science behind that. So air pollution. Um, we also know that any kind of extra smoke, so indoor smoke from like fireplaces, we know that, that this is actually the term they use in the study is biomass smoke um, can, so that's just, chemicals that are in the air that are affecting our lungs that we're breathing in can shut down the autophagy process. We also know that aging will affect autophagy. So bottom line is it's poor diet, it's poor air quality, it's things like cigarettes and vaping, and we can overcome those. We can't control air pollution, which is why I'm gonna give you some things that you can do on your own. Um, we can control cigarette and, and vaping, and we can control the foods that we're eating right now. It's more important than ever that we work on a clean diet because we gotta stimulate autophagy. Okay, so I'm gonna dive into 10 things, you guys, getting the science out of the way. Hopefully you understand this now, and I wanna dive into 10 things you can do today, like right now, so that you do not become a good host to this virus and you keep your immune system high. Okay, and all of these are based off of science. So the first is just don't do those things I just talked about. So that's the stop toxifying yourself. That's, that has to be numero uno. Second, there are foods that stimulate autophagy. There are some that you're gonna love. So check this out, coffee. Coffee has been known to stimulate autophagy. In fact, I'm so intrigued by some research I found on coffee stimulating autophagy. I'm gonna do a whole video on how coffee can stimulate autophagy, which is very exciting to those of us that fast, I think. Okay, green tea, go check out. I just interviewed uh, Simon Chang from Peak Tea. It will come out on my Resetter podcast, and he talks about the power of tea for our overall health. Well, guess what? He has an awesome green tea that will help with stimulating autophagy. Turmeric, ginger, cinnamon, ginseng, garlic, chaga and reishi mushrooms, 
pomegranates. I, I've got to bring you guys. I'm going to do a whole separate video for my Thanksgiving dinner in my family. We, my parents have made this incredible pomegranate salsa. Uh, I've got to find a way to get this to you guys because when I saw that it can stimulate autophagy, I, my brain started to think about all the things we could do here in America for an autophagy Thanksgiving. How cool would be, that be? So stay tuned. I'm going to dream that one up. Um, elderberries, bergamot tea, which is Earl Grey, and MCT oil. So we're back at our putting oils in our coffee. Hmm. Okay, if I put my oil, MCT oil, in my coffee and they both stimulate autophagy, and then I fast for 17 hours, whoa, that might be a really good lifestyle shift so that I can keep my autophagy uh, levels high and I can keep those cells being able to spit out the debris, be able to repair themselves, be able to help with the bacterial and viral loads. That's just what I'm thinking. Okay, third thing. You guys know this, fast, 17 to 72 hours is max for stimulating autophagy. You also know number four, keeping your protein under 20 grams will also help to stimulate autophagy. Uh, fifth thing, low carb diet, high, uh, high fat, let's up all of our good fat right now. Let's keep our carbs down. Let's keep our blood sugar down. That also stimulates autophagy. Um, I also found some interesting research on getting out into nature. So let's all get out and, and try to get, breathe in the fresh air and get all the microbes in nature. There's also some incredible research that we've got to release our traumas and our emotional burdens right now. We've got to look at guilt and regret, bitterness and resentment. Do you know that those four emotions create autophagy dysfunction in, in the cells inside your body. So we got to let that stuff go. We got to have tools for keeping our eye on the positive things that we can see in life right now. HIIT training, so interval training where you're going up and down with your heart rate. Those of you that are in my Reset Academy, we do this together every Saturday morning. Uh, and it's really fun to do as a community. So HIIT training's great. Sleep. I can tell you here in my office, we have all become obsessed with our whoop bands and analyzing our sleep to make sure that we're getting in a deep sleep and we're getting enough uh, sleep to be able to keep autophagy working at its best. And then the last two I'll tell you are some really cool biohacks. So hyperbaric oxygen, if you have access to a hyperbaric oxygen chamber, has great research behind improving autophagy and then red light therapy. So those of you that have a juve light, uh, also really helpful for improving autophagy. So there is so much we can do to keep autophagy working right. And evidence, you guys, every, every day when I'm going to PubMed to look into these articles, there's more and more coming out about what is making people immune compromised. And I want to bring you this science. You have to understand that it's, it's very difficult to not trigger censorship here on YouTube and on other platforms. So I'm trying to talk in code. I'm trying to put the research. I'm trying to encourage you to, for you to make your own decision based off of what you're hearing. If you want more of my uncensored research, my uncensored opinion where I can say whatever I want, that happens in my email list. So just put uncensored info in the comments and we will send you a link to the information that we're sending out to our community so that you guys can get the truth, you can hear the science and you can make smart decisions for yourself. But autophagy, it is our best friend in this moment. You, it's, it, we've got to keep it functional. We cannot let it go into a state of dysfunction. We have to let those cells be able to repair. We gotta push those bacteria and viruses out. We gotta keep the cilla really long in the respiratory system. This is our job. We have responsibility right now in this moment. So I'm bringing you the information and I'm asking you to step up your game when it comes to your health. And as always, I just hope you're resonating with this information. If you want my uncensored information, I'm pretty excited to give it to you. So just put uncensored info and we'll send you a link so you can get that info for free. It's I want this you to make smart decisions for yourself. And as always, never give up on yourself. Get yourself out of fear, move into empowerment. The research shows you're more powerful than you've been taught and you just gotta believe it yourself.
Hope that helps.